Hey guys, it's Brian with The Midnight Mechanic. If you own a Jeep Cherokee like our 1999 Jeep Cherokee XJ, one of the things you might have to do at some point is replace your radiator. These are notorious for getting very hot and our radiator is plugged up with a bunch of gunk and we need to go ahead and replace it because we've replaced everything else in this Jeep. So that is our last thing. It is not very hard, but it is a little bit time consuming. We're gonna show you how to do it, so follow along. On these Cherokees, there's an upper radiator support. It's this long piece of metal that sits on top of the radiator. There's a few things you need to remove, like your electric fan and your fan shroud for your mechanical fan. Along with that, there's four bolts. There's two on either side that hold it down to the core support, and then there's four bolts right here to the header panel. What we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the fan shroud and the electric fan first, and then we're gonna come over and remove the rest of these bolts so we can go ahead and get that upper mount off. If you saw our video when we removed the electric fan, it is very easy to get out. All you gotta do is unplug it and then there's two bolts that hold it in. Now on ours here, we have 10 millimeter bolts because we replaced them because they were missing when we got it. I think from the factory they're eight millimeter because we still have one factory one and it's eight millimeter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use our 10 millimeter to remove the ones that we put in there and then the eight millimeter to remove the one that was already in there. Here is our new radiator. The first thing we're going to do before we remove the old one is we're going to go ahead and drain all the coolant out of it. Now, there's a drain valve on the end of the radiators that has a little hose connection. We're going to attach a hose to this and put it down to our drain bucket. That way we don't end up with coolant all over the floor. It goes a little bit slower doing it that way, but we're going to go ahead and do that just so we don't make a big mess all over the place. While you're looking at it, you can see where your upper and lower radiator hose connections are, along with your connections for your transmission cooler. Before we do anything, we're going to go ahead and drain all the coolant out of the radiator. There's a drain valve that is on the passenger side bottom of the radiator. More than likely, you can't get that out because it gets a little dirty and it's hard to get to. On ours, we can't turn it. We can barely get our fingers on it. So what I'm going to do is remove the lower radiator hose right at the water pump and then I can turn it down and dump it into our bucket to go ahead and drain our radiator. Make sure you put your position for your bucket pretty close to it so it doesn't get everywhere. So I went ahead and I pulled the lower radiator hose off of the water pump. If you can't get it off, you can use a mechanics pick and kind of run it around the edge where it connects on the water pump and it should break it free. We got it everywhere. It's impossible to get it completely clean, but what you're gonna do is turn this down completely so it gets all the fluid out of the radiator. With the radiator drained, we're gonna go ahead and remove that upper radiator support that we showed you guys. It's got four 10 millimeter bolts and a few Torx bits along the inside here. We're gonna go ahead and take those off and take this top plate out so it makes it easier to access all the hoses and cooler lines that we need to get to.
Now that we have that upper radiator mount off, we have easy access to go ahead and remove all the cooling lines and hoses off of the radiator so we can go ahead and pull it out. With everything now removed, we can go ahead and lift the radiator straight out. There are some rubber bushings that are in the bottom that the radiator sits in on the bottom, and then the top is held in by that plate we showed you. The rubber is going to be a little bit tough, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to pull the radiator straight out more than likely. Also have to be careful because the air conditioning condenser is in front of the radiator and it's held in by some studs, so you need to go ahead and remove it carefully so you don't damage your condenser. Now we're going to go ahead and install our new radiator. Down the bottom you can see where those little holes are. That's where these pins in the bottom are going to slide down into. And then these brackets on the top here, that's where up here for the air conditioning condenser is going to sit. We're going to go ahead and sit that in there and go ahead and start hooking up all our hoses. So now that we have that mounted in there, we're going to go ahead and start reconnecting all our upper and lower radiator hoses and our transmission cooler lines. Once you verify that everything is hooked up correctly and tightened down, you can go ahead and reinstall that upper radiator mount.
verify that you have it all lined up correctly and you can go ahead and replace those four bolts and those four nuts up behind your header panel. With that all done and mounted up, you can move on to installing your radiator fan shroud and your electric radiator fan. Now that's all done, everything's put back together. All that's left is to go ahead and fill it up with radiator fluid and bleed the air out of your system. Hopefully that makes it a little bit less intimidating for those of you who need to replace the radiator in your Jeep Cherokee. Now, the hardest part is just bleeding the air out of it. You saw the little tool we used use that all the time. It comes in super handy. You can see the link down below to go ahead and buy that if you want it. If you see anything else you'd like to learn about, any other tools you'd like to see, post down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Midnight Mech, TikTok at The Midnight Mechanic. See you guys next time.